Thank you. Thank you very much, um, Alex. Distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure and honor to welcome you all to this crucial pre-summit meeting to discuss and review the work of thematic action track three on teachers teaching and the teaching profession. This is one, this is the highest level interaction so far in a series of meetings held to interrogate the first draft of the discussion paper published by Action Track 3 in May or on May 13th, 2022, as part of the ongoing preparation for the United Nations Transforming Education Summit holding in September this year. Let me suggest that for the first time in many years, in many parts of the world, the preparations for this summit has succeeded in pricking the conscience of our leaders and our youth on the need to reimagine and transform education in order to keep the world safer and more prosperous. We must continue to commend the United Nations Secretary General and his team, as well as UNESCO, ILO, and all participating agencies and institutions for injecting a new vigor in seeking to forge a common destiny through a transformational education, transformed education. Distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, our assignment in Action Track 3 is to focus closely on the critical theme of teachers teaching and the teaching profession. After several meetings and vigorous debates among stakeholders across different parts of the world, consensus is gradually building around the key elements of the envisaged transformation, particularly those affecting teachers and the teaching profession in different parts of the world. Whether in the countries of the North or in the South, consensus is being built around some few key elements of the transformation project if the project itself will succeed. Issues like paying attention to teacher well-being and intrinsic motivation, issues like recognizing the changing role of the teacher and, the support and supporting teachers as they evolve into the role, making teachers part of the transformation itself as active agents in the transformation activity and so on. But as will, as will be made clear by my colleague, Ligia Deca of Romania uh, shortly, the crux of the Action Track 3 discussion paper is anchored around the need for each country to have an empowered education workforce that is professionalized, trained, motivated, and supported. Over the last two months, Action Track 3 has been reviewing the discussion paper in order to reflect the current thinking on initiatives 
that can be undertaken to strengthen teachers, educators, and the teaching profession. That is why we consider the ongoing pre-summit and particularly this meeting as an opportunity to present our proposals and to get realistic and constructive feedback. We as Action Track 3 are happy to admit that we have already started benefiting immensely from the vigorous debates and rigorous reviews of our ideas in the course of the last 48 hours of this pre-summit. Action Track 3, therefore, commits to listen to the ministers of education present here and other experts and specialists, and we will amend